I'm coming. Good morning guys, here we are. It's day two of our marriage retreat. We are actually going to I'm live in an one. igloo. No, we're gonna go snowshoeing. I've never been. I might be really hot because I have so many layers on, but safety first, you guys. Safety first, seat belts on. We're going snowshoeing. We stayed up a little later than we hoped for. We met this nice group of people from California and we stayed up talking to them forever, but uh, we are up. It, we said 7.15, we gotta be down there. And snowshoeing, have you guys ever been snowshoeing? You strap big old shoes to your feet and Basically you, you like stand, you stand on top of the snow. I've never done it, so we're gonna go do it. I think Ruby and Kevin are coming. If they wake up, hopefully they do. Well, and if they don't wake up, then they're gonna miss it. We'll go pounding on their door. We've been promised a purple sunrise over Mount Timpanogos, so we're hoping for that. Uh, temptation of snacks out here. Did you guys know I'm still off of treats and ice cream and all these other things I used to eat all the time and I've lost like 12 pounds. Hey guys there is so much snow up here. It's like the banks are like 12 feet tall. It's so funny. Uh -huh. That's they where we're going snow April. Or something to get the snow up that high. Top of that peak right there. That's where we're headed. What? No we're not. That's where the Grinch lives. I'm sure of it. April gotta wake up. <laughs> it worked. That's how hello. Good all. morning. Oh, hello, hello. We always wake up in snow gear. I open the door. And April's like leaning room against service. the door. Room service. India just dared like, me to knock on the door and say room service. service, and you opened it. <laughs> okay, these are the twelve foot banks I'm talking about. It's so funny. Okay, maybe we aren't snowshoeing. We have no idea where everybody's meeting up. We're lost. We're scared. We can't find Kevin. Guess we'll just have to do regular shoeing. I feel like we're gonna miss the snowshoeing. Ah, who cares? This is amazing. <laughs> I can't get out now. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. That's, That's my amazing. body impression. That's amazing. Okay, we have not found the snowshoeing, but the sun is coming up. Jumping Kevin has dared us to uh, <laughs> Duck, jump into this. Is there, you guys have been here in summertime, is there any like jagged spears sticking out of the ground? I think or? there might be like a pokey fence. I know there's not. Well, there's a there's fence a there. There's a fence right, right there. there. No, there's, okay. there's rocks right over there. And so there's right there's below grass. us. Okay. Grass and sidewalk. Hey, who's jumping? Oh, Davey goes first. <laughs> okay, no, here's, here's a real thought though. Can we take a picture? What if it causes go? an avalanche and buries you though? <laughs> That's good. That's you the most the amazing scene right here. It's like all Wait, white. How do you get out? You can just climb up. Okay, girls, ready for you. Okay, do it. So I wear green just in case there's an avalanche. I'll get saved first. So, so I'm we'll definitely be able to find Ruby. <laughs> okay. 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 Well, do you, is there a secret? Do you just bend your knees? I don't want to like. How does does it hurt? It no. feels like I'm gonna hit the snow and then go face. <laughs> I mean, I would land kind of to the side. Well, not like feet first, I don't know. I've only done it once. Okay. <laughs> one, one, two, three. three. <laughs> that was fun. That was so fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it did not feel how I thought yeah, it it's was. It's kind of an abrupt stop still. It's not. It's abrupt, but it didn't hurt my legs like I thought it would. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's coming. It's, no snowshoes. Let's see it. Come on. I'm going. Do it. Do it. Do it. Land where we haven't landed. Where no man has landed. Okay, well, then yeah, I gotta go. Go that way. If I go this way. This is mine. I had a bit, yeah, big impact. Last night I was thinking, okay. <laughs> go for it. Come on. Two. Hold on. <laughs> getting into the deep stuff. Yeah, the Kevin has stuff. to go all the way to the end of the bridge. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> 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 your head. Hey, you guys, you're up. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I'm wearing just tennis shoes. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> that was that stupid. That was Kevin's that. last jump. I feel like this was a test in the marriage counseling. We hit some trials. We improved on our situation. Still had fun. Coming. <laughs> so good. Everyone's gonna look at this like, <laughs> what happened? To lick the middle post. Do you have a water bottle to save us if we on your lip. You totally stupid. I have the triple dog. <gasps> Run, Kevin. Go get some water. Ow. Run. My tongue is on there. <laughs> you pushed me. <laughs> I feel the heart for a while. My tongue is on there. <laughs> I was spinning on him trying to release his tongue. <laughs> That's my spin. Oh my I was like gosh. dirty. <laughs> running into like fine water. <laughs> I got pushed off. I was gonna wait for it, and then I got pushed off of it. Sorry. So I was trying to get the snow off of the ice off of this, and I was like, it is stuck on there. So all I said was, do you think if we stuck our tongues on here, it would stick? And then Kevin says, Davy, I dare you to stick your tongue on there. And his tongue, that is Davy's flesh. It's stuck clips to this. from Ruby's phone. Ruby was filming on her phone. I was trying to release his tongue by spitting on it, which is really gross. <laughs> so that's my spit. That was actually that's my Davey's first time tongue. doing that. So that was that's show exciting. Us your, show us your tongue. Oh my gosh! <laughs> is it bad? I don't want to look at it. No, it's so bad. So kids, do not ever do that. Don't listen to dares, guys. Don't dare. Okay, guys, we are back. We went to some breakfast. Tongue is healing a little bit. It stopped <laughs> bleeding. April has stopped right. laughing, mostly. I'm so laughing. Why would you do that? I don't know. But we're going to go learn some more good stuff and hopefully come share with you guys. We'll, we'll, we'll be back. All right, we just got back from a couple of sessions. It was super awesome. I didn't want it to end, but unfortunately it's over. We're gonna go try attempt snowshoeing again. They've said it's open and available. Uh, I'm gonna share a couple notes that I took. Let's see. Things men should do. Remember how special she is and how to show it through simple daily acts. They gave the advice mm. to men, like married men, to set a reminder on their phones three times a day to reach out, do something but nice. He's like, like, and that may sound silly, but it will become second nature if you keep doing like it. Like a text <laughs> message, do something. Um, listen to her feelings, thoughts, and dreams. Continue to court her. Um, you know, do the fun things you used to do when you were dating. Uh, men, please avoid neglect and avoidance, anger and put downs, advice giving. There's a funny video of a girl with a nail, <laughs> a nail in her head. It just feels like this And he's pressure. trying to tell her just to take it out. And she's like, no, don't try to fix it's this. It's not about the nail. <laughs> it's not about the All nail. All he had to say is, that sounds horrible. Yeah, he just had to listen to her. I'm sorry, that sounds horrible. And then she was like, eggs. <laughs> Uh, for women, please do express confidence and belief in him. Ask for her help and express appreciation. Save some positive energy and love for him. Talked Ask about for help. talked about the phone voice where like maybe the woman is yelling. Like yell at the kids, and then like, oh, hello, this is April speaking. You know, because I'll save some phone voice for your husband. Yes, yeah, don't just talk to <laughs> those you advice. care less about. Women, please avoid criticism and nagging, invalidation, talking over speaking for. Like in a conversation, don't be like, well, what he meant to say was, and you know, it kind of makes the man feel mm -hmm. small. Micromanaging and over-functioning leave the men feeling like they're never good enough. Like all of those things leave the men feeling like they're never good enough. Yeah, it was a really yeah. good lesson. I think it's super important to focus on improving your marriage, no matter where you're at. He showed a bunch of levels that you could be on and he told everyone to kind of evaluate where they were. And I was very, very happy because I felt like we were, there was like the two highest levels were like friendship and then the next one was like the whole shipping, like the whole package, friendship, love, like, I felt like we were, were most of the time on friendship or that other high one. Like we're doing a good job. At least I and feel like that. We are. Which I and feel very lucky. They talked a lot about mental health and it's such a huge problem and don't like we should treat it like it like as if somebody had diabetes, don't just say, Oh, you'll be fine, you know, just uh 
say a prayer or something like go out and get help seek the help that you need right. for mental health and um, like answers to prayers can come through other people you have to remember through that like health professionals, you might not just get therapist. like a twinkling and everything's fine like that's probably not going to happen you're going to have to seek out help from usually other people can be like angels among us guys you could be an angel among us or someone else out there it could be like your saving angel but I, I really like this quote, and it wasn't from today's breakouts. It was from something else I listened to, a podcast, and I can't even remember her name, but she said, we need to stop thinking of mental health as a us and them converse, or an us and them problem. It's not us and them. It's all of us are in this together. Every single human being is on the mental health scale somewhere. Some people are just a little healthier than others, and if you look at it as it's all, all of our problem and everyone has mental health and everyone has mental, un, like they're mentally unhealthy at times, then you're taking like the shame and the stigma off of it and making it less about an us and them situation and more of just like a, we're all in this together. We go through hard times and like we can help each other situation. So okay. that stuck with me. That's good. I love it. Okay. This was nice and heavy for you guys. We're going to go be light and have fun. Uh, update on my tongue. <laughs> it still hurts. Don't stick your tongues on poles. It's, I think it's hurting worse now than it did at first, right? It was numb it's at so first. It's so sensitive. It's kind of getting... Yeah, it, it hurts. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't, Don't do ever that. do it, guys. Okay, we officially got our snowshoes on. <laughs> it's officially very cold. We're going to go check out the basketball court for our first adventure. Yeah, that's not bad. Can I just sink a little bit? Are you holding up? I don't think this is what they're made for, but... Walking on snow, what else could it be made Wait, for? how do you think this is like six feet of snow? Yeah, Five I mean, feet. look at the basketball hoop. Slam dunk. Slam dunk, nice work. Okay, I see a bunny picture up here. Let's see. Hey, this is yes, it is. Snowshoe hair, shown here. I definitely... I'm exhausted. I support snowshoeing, it's a good workout. But you get a walk where it would be a, it would be a lot harder to walk without snowshoes. This is so fun. They have little animal print things everywhere. Like there's prints in the snow. We'll show you guys some if we come across more. There's prints. definitely oh, some them. wildlife out here. That is a raccoon. Habitat raccoons live in the wooded areas, and she seeks shelter close by springs and ponds, they live in tree hollows and large oaks and cottonwood trees. Let's find right. some let's some find some evidence of them. We're just hanging out up here and the rustling wind through the trees is cool and a little eerie. It sounds like a a river. Hey, there's people coming. But this is really peaceful Listen, up here. I'm always like, is that an avalanche? And Davey's like, it must be a it's car. I'm like, the rustling no cars. wind. It's just the wind blowing through the trees. April loves these aspens. They're so pretty. I think of a family picture just right. Remember our didn't our first house have some aspens in the front of it? The sure did. West Jordan house. Oh, I should take a picture of you. You look like a snow beauty. All right, goodbye, marriage retreat. Goodbye, so piece fun. of my tongue on the bridge. <laughs> goodbye. Back to real life. We're gonna go have a little sushi with the gardeners. This isn't real life. Oh yeah, kids are part of real life, right? We're still on a date. <laughs> yeah, we're still finishing off our I little- I sure do love our real life. Our little getaway, I know. But a little sushi. So uh, this is the last part of our couples retreat. We're gonna hang out with some good friends, Ashley and Tyson Gardner from Gardner Quad Squad. And we're gonna we... teach them everything we learned about being married. <laughs> I need yeah, to know. we're gonna just everything. tell them everything. So you went, you went from the expert couples to now you're bringing on the rookies. Oh, yeah, so, somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. We have a lot of things we could work on actually. I was like, I didn't realize how many things we could be working on right now. But um, no, we just love this place. We love hanging out with these guys. So it's going to be the best date ever. And then we'll get home to our kids. How's the life with the four girls? You guys you know, we thought about in there? You're doing good. Good. You know, like, whenever people ask us that question, what we like to do is bring you guys over to the house. Just exactly. witness it all. Yeah, no, I'm cool with sleep, that. So. Comment below. No words. No Comment words. below if you think this is a great idea. I, we should swap lives for a yeah. day. I think we should do a parent swap. I think we should parent swap. That would be amazing. Because I have five kids and an exchange student that's like six kids, but I still don't know what it would be like to have four of the same four age. Four of the same age. Four four-year-olds. Four yeah. I cannot I fathom that. I can't wrap my mind around it. So I need to. I really do need that to experience that. That would be so fun. 
Let's okay. do it, Let's guys. Do it. Comment below. You guys want it to happen. If we can get 2,000 thumbs ups, we'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, water. gardeners. Do we want a block? Until next time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> More stuff. Yay. Guys. guys. Gonna pick up the kids. Paula's on her sweetheart's dance right now. Maybe we'll get to catch up with her and see how it went. We're gonna pick up the kids now. Looking for Yay. all my beautiful children. Hey, oh, look at her. Oh, I missed you. Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh, did you guys have fun? Yeah. Did you miss us? Yeah. I want a snack when we get home. Okay.